Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we're getting ready to take you guys along with us to breakfast at... Hi Oaks Farm Kitchen. One thing that I have always found fascinating about Five Oaks is there's beehives back here. Here's a look at the menu. They do serve the big giant cinnamon rolls like they have over at Crockett's. Of course, this is a sister restaurant to Crockett's over in Gatlinburg. They have folded eggs, various casseroles. Here are the eggs, Benedict's, Harvest Morning Bounty. And I think just a Sample a little bit of everything, and because I'm hungry, I'm going to get the farm tenant favorite. And by the way, breakfast is served from 8 a.m. until noon, and here is the kids' meal for ages 10 and under. You can get the one egg scramble, the one pancake, the kids' waffle, French toast, and here are the drink selections. Just to see a size comparison. Gentry, you want to put your hand next to that? Look at Gentry's hand compared to the cinnamon roll. I cannot emphasize how massive this is. Jennifer's diving into the cinnamon roll there. And I wish you could smell the aroma of the table right now. It smells just like cinnamon. How's the cinnamon roll, Gentry? <laughs> Jennifer, how's the cinnamon roll? It's really good. It's not overly sweet. So I got some of the centerpiece here. My favorite part of the cinnamon roll is that centerpiece. Just a little more moist. Look at that. Again, just the aroma of that cinnamon and the icing smells delicious. I know that this is the same company as Crockett's, and we've tried cinnamon roll over at Crockett's and Gatlinburg. Again, same company, sister restaurant, but I actually prefer this one a little bit more than the one over at Crockett's. This one came out a little more warm. It has a little bit more of that cinnamon and the butter and the icing, I think, is a, a more even balance than the one that was over at Crockett's. It's very good. All right, Jennifer, what'd you end up getting there? So Henry and I are splitting all of this. Um, it's called the Farm Tenant, and it comes with, uh, you can choose from country ham or city ham, so we chose country ham. It comes with bacon, sausage, ribbon, cut potatoes. And, and the cut. bacon or sausage are back there, hidden from my <laughs> view, from my angle. It is just so massive. What and else did you get? also comes with a cat head biscuit. I think you can see why they call it cat head. It's so huge. It's as big as a cat's head. You get two eggs. We got them scrambled. You get gravy to go with your biscuit. And then also you get grits and a huge griddle cake. All right, Gentry, what'd you end up getting there? One pancake with scrambled All right, and you can see, <laughs> look at this. It's just unbelievable. I uh, got the hash browns, eggs over easy, cat head biscuit. I subbed out my stone grits for some cinnamon apples and then sausage gravy. This is called the back 40, by the way. And the back 40, um, I actually wanted to get the chicken fried steak, but they were out. So instead, I ended up getting the pork chops. And of course, it has sausage gravy over top. And of course, I got a griddle cake. Look at how massive that is. That is I want so to huge. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I want to emphasize the size. Look at the side of my fork in comparison to the height of that griddle cake. It exceeds the height of the width of my fork. It's massive. All right, so I'm gonna try the grits. And I think they are cheesy grits. As you can see, they're real creamy. And that is what I subbed out for the cinnamon apples. Missing out. <laughs> Those are really, really good. They're uh, not hard at all and very, very creamy and cooked well. Those are delicious. They look very thick. Mm -hmm. Let's try this bacon. And is this pecan crusted? Is that correct? Or yeah, either that or pecan smoked. I'm not really sure. It looks good. It's good, it's really meaty. 
It's really tasty. All right, and Gentry is going to try. It's great, thank you. Right, Gentry is going to try his pancake here. Riddle cake. No syrup. Sometimes he doesn't like syrup. Those pancakes and griddle cakes. Just eating it as is there. This is massive and it's very delicious. It looks really fluffy. Right, now he's going in for some scrambled eggs. Take a look at those eggs a little closer there. That is really good. So I am going to start off here with the pork chop. Cuts very easy. Don't even need the knife. Of course, it has the sausage gravy here. It's inside. Looks yummy. It smells delicious, too. Sometimes great things happen from accidents. And again, I was going to get the country fried steak, the chicken fried steak. And so when that wasn't available, I quickly just went for this back 40, which is the fried pork chop. Again, great things can sometimes happen from accidents. So because that was out, I had to defer to getting this. And I will tell you, I'm really happy that I went with this selection. It is a fantastic pork chop. The breading on the outside, so flavorful. It's tender. And that sausage gravy on top just really adds to it. Next, I'm gonna try a cinnamon apple. I'm gonna dip it down here in some of the cinnamon butter. I'm a big fan of cinnamon apples. Sometimes you have like a creamy sauce. This is not very creamy. It's more of a, a watery liquid. So I'm more of a fan of the creamy sauce than I am the watery liquid, but by no means is this bad. This is, this is really good and I would order this again. Um, I don't like grits, <laughs> so I would always sub it out for this or maybe even some of the candied bacon. All right guys, here's a look at the final receipt. And they did not put our cinnamon roll in here, but our final receipt before tip without the cinnamon roll came out to $51.70. So what's keeping these doors shut after you open them? Check out this cable and pulley system here, right there. And as soon as the door shuts, down it goes. Watch your fingers, Henry. That was Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. Jennifer, what did you think about Five Oaks Farm Kitchen? I thought it was really good. Um, don't come here not hungry <laughs> because you're gonna leave here stuffed. Uh, Henry and I shared that meal that y'all saw and we couldn't even finish it and everything. There was so much food. Um, Britt had asked the, our waitress if anybody had ever finishes any of those big meals and she said no, but it's a good sampling of everything. My favorite parts of the meal were the bacon and the grits. Some of the best grits I've had in the Smokies, but yeah, everything was great. Gentry. Make sure you come here hungry. Great family restaurant. Like she said, it fills you up. You should definitely come here if you're hungry. And Henry, what'd you think there, buddy? Um, I like, um, yeah. and it had a rainbow in it. And you like the it, fountain? It, had a it, it does have kind of a rainbow. I don't know if that's picking up on camera there, but there is a, a slight hue of a rainbow down there. What else, bud? Did you like your pancakes, sausage, and gravy? Yeah. And all of that. And that was so awesome. And we liked it. I will come here again in a second time. And I will go here again like two times. All right. So you heard it from Henry. He wants to come back again. And I will say we have been here before. We filmed here before. But we have never been here for breakfast. And I will say, given the difference between lunch and breakfast i think breakfast is the way to go uh, breakfast was very delicious again i had to ask the waitress because i would love to shake the person's hand who can finish their entire plate of what we just had it was so much food but so delicious if you're here and this is actually Sevierville, but if you take a look right down here i mean we're right on the parkway just on the other side of pigeon forge a lot of people even call this pigeon forge but technically we're in Sevierville. 
But if you're out in this area and you're looking for a great, delicious, very filling breakfast, we highly recommend Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us here today at Five Oaks Farm Kitchen in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every, Every Day, Day is Saturday. Saturday. Right here in Weirs Valley, for free, you can pull over and take a look at, right here in Weirs Valley, you can pull over and take a look at this waterfall. But they also have a really nice area for picnicking. There's some cornhole, there's Jenga, there is a gym mine in the back. There's a rope, it's hard to see from here, but uh, you can actually wade in the water in the warmer months. But just sit back, relax in the Adirondack chairs and take you in the waterfall.